Hey everyone, so I wanted to jump on here to talk about tennis rackets and the reason being is somebody recently came to the tennis club to inquire about rackets. They wanted to know what the best racket that they could buy would be. And as you can imagine, this led us into quite a deep conversation. And so in this video, I wanted to share with you some of the points that I raised in this conversation. And at the end of the video, I'll talk about my rackets and which are my favorite rackets to play with. So the way that the conversation started was a player came into our pro shop and was looking around and he was telling me that he recently demoed three rackets. One being the Wilson Pro Staff, two being the Babolat Pure Aero, and the third, you could probably guess, the Head Speed Pro. Now the reason you may have guessed that third racket is these three rackets were endorsed by Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic. And the reason I say endorsed is I had to explain to this player that pretty much all of the top tennis players that you see playing on television are playing with rackets that you and I cannot buy. They're called pro stock rackets. Now, I won't go deep into talking about pro stock rackets, but in short, they're basically built for the player's specific needs. And the reason that you and I can't buy them is they would be dreadful for our game. Not many players can play like Roger, Rafa and Novak. And so the consumer versions of these rackets are a lot more playable usually a lighter weight so they're easier to maneuver. Anyway, after I explained to him about pro stock rackets and the fact that Roger, Rafa and Novak are not playing with the rackets that he's tried, he went on to ask me what is the best racket that he can buy. The truth is there is no one racket that beats all of the others. In fact, if you look at every single brand, there will be one racket that suits your physicality, your playing level and your game style. In fact, you've probably seen that I've tested quite a few brands in the last couple of years. And I do have my personal favorites that suit my game style from each brand, which I could honestly pick up and use for the rest of my career. In fact, a few months ago, I had a comment from somebody on one of my racket play tests saying that they love the style of my racket reviews and play tests but they felt that I was only ever saying positive things and although this comment hurt a little bit the person was completely right and the reason being is I've only tested rackets from the top brands I've tested Wilson, Yonex, Head and Technifiber and honestly all of the rackets that I've tested have been great rackets for somebody Maybe not for my game style, but for a certain type of player. And when I plan and film my playtests, I'm not making them to sell tennis rackets. I'm creating them to give you as much information as possible so that you can make your own decisions. Which is why in all my playtests, I'm not telling you how good the racket is, but I'm telling you who it's suitable for. As it would be completely unfair for me to say a racket's bad just because it doesn't suit my game style. As 90% of you watching this video probably play in a very different way to me. Anyway, as I say, I'm gonna make a video going into much more detail about how to choose a racket if that's what you're after. But now, let's talk about what rackets I've really enjoyed playing for my own game style. So you're probably thinking, what is this racket that I've got in my hand now? Um, if you're a long-term subscriber of the channel, you'll know that this is a quite an old Head Speed Pro. And I have my pal, Nicky Rowan from Unstrung Customs, customize it. So he painted it black. Now, this is something that I don't recommend if you're using this as a competitive racket, as when you do have a paint job done to a racket, it does change its specs. It makes it slightly heavier, uh, changes the swing weight and the balance. It also makes it slightly stiffer as well. Uh, Nikki does an amazing job at really sanding down the racket and giving it a good finish. So it's pretty close to the specs, but um, I wouldn't advise doing this, but I had this done more for show really, as it looks pretty stealthy. But you'll know that a couple of years ago, I ended my contract with Head so that I could review lots of different brands. And it's honestly been amazing, but I've been using a head speed for probably 10 years or so. And so I'm still using a head speed as my competitive racket. However, I do mix and match between the Speed Pro and the Speed MP for coaching. The MP is just a little bit lighter and a bit more forgiving when I'm feeding lots and lots of balls in each day. However, recently I was extremely close to swapping my Head Speed Pro for the Yonex Percept 100D. I absolutely loved this racket when I was play testing. And honestly, I think if I played with it more, um, I could be tempted. If it came in all black, I'd probably be even more tempted. But yeah, the Yonex Percept 100D is another racket that really suits my game style. Um, 
I tend to like quite a dense string pattern. My head speed pro is 1820 with a hundred square inch head. So it gives me quite a nice balance of forgiveness with the hundred square inch head, but control um, and a nice muted feel with that 1820 string pattern. On that note, I also really enjoyed playing with the Technifiber T Fight 305, I think it was. I actually got to test that one in Monte Carlo, but yeah, at the time, that was another one that I absolutely loved. I just don't think I played with it long enough to be able to make it my main racket. For those interested, I use a grip size three with an overgrip. And for my head speeds, I use Headlinks Tour, strung at 52 pounds. But I almost forgot, I cannot not show you this. I do have one racket, which is my favorite racket that I own. And I haven't even hit a ball with it. Gotta show you it. Some of you might have seen this in my Roger Federer video when I met him in Berlin. But I'm gonna show you close up. This is the RF01. I've not hit a ball with it for a very good reason. Just wait. Don't know if you can see there, but the man himself has signed it. Roger Federer. Um, yeah, I did actually play test this racket and really enjoyed playing with it, but this one specifically has never hit a tennis ball because I just can't. Um, I'm gonna try to get this framed. If any of you have had a racket framed before, let me know in the comments below because I don't really know where to start. Also, what do you think of my new little racket setup here? Um, you may have seen this in my recent review of the Wilson RF1, but um, yeah, pretty proud of it. Here are some of the rackets that I've tested in the past. Um, that's my customized Headspeed Pro. Prestige is one I didn't mention actually. I absolutely loved that, but it was a little bit too difficult for me to play with. Gravity was good. I didn't spend enough time playing with that either. I know the new one's coming out and sneak preview, it looks incredible. Pro Staff, another one that suits my game, the 100 version, the, the Pro Staff X. The 97 was beautiful, but uh, again, a little bit too tricky to play with. A bit like the, um, the Prestige. The Lacoste one. Um, this one is a bit like a pure drive, so a bit too stiff and powerful for me, but um, my wife had her eyes on it, so if she ever plays tennis, she's probably going to use that one. And this bad boy is one of my favourite looking rackets. Um, it was actually a prototype of the head Radical a number of years ago, and real shame they didn't release this colorway as I think it looks really cool and I bring that one out on special occasions when I'm filming but yeah just a little bit of a display of some of my rackets. Thanks so much for watching the video hope you enjoyed it let me know if you want me to cover anything specific when I make this video about choosing the right racket for you and uh, yeah if you've got any more questions let me know I look forward to seeing you in the next one take care.